time. Ivy and Bean break the fossil record. Ivy and Bean, book three. Boring, boring, boring. Bean turned her book upside down and tired to read it any that way. Cool, well, sort of cool. No boring, Bean sighed and turned her book back right side up. It was a book about cats that she had picked from the school library. There was a different cat on each page. Bean liked cats, but reading about them was driving her crazy. All the cats looked the same, except the Spenix cat, who didn't have any fur. He looked halfway between a dog and a rat. Bean liked him the best. I bet Ivy's never seen a Spenix cat, thought Bean. She knew she wasn't supposed to talk during the drop of everything and read, so she poked Ivy in the ribs. Ivy's eyes were bringing across the pages of her book. Bing, ding, bing, bing. She looked like she was watching a ping pong game. She didn't even notice Bean. She, so Bean poked her again. Hey, she whispered, Earth to Ivy. Ivy mumbled. Looky here, it's a dog rat, Bean whispered louder. Ivy looked for a little tiny second. Oh, she said, wet back to reading. She sighed again. All the other kids in Miss Rubitate's second grade classroom were bent over their books. Even Eric, who usually fell out of his chair two or three times during Drop Everything and Read. Was quiet. He had a book about man-eating sharks. Mac Adam was picking his nose, being raised her hand. Miss Arubate didn't see because she was reading to so being called out Miss Arubate Shh whispered Miss Arubate. What is it, Bean? There's a problem, and it starts with mm, Begin Bean looking hard at Mac, Adam, and then N and P. She wiggled her fingers. Next to her nose, just in case Miss Arubate needed an extra hint, Miss Arubate looked at Mac Adam too. Then she put down her book and came over to Bean's table. I brought this from home, especially for you, Bean. She looked holding out a big shiny book. See, she pointed at the cover. It's the amazing book of world records. I think you'll like it, 
Bean wasn't sure she was. What's a world record? When someone does something better or longer or weirder than anyone else in the whole world, that means they've set a world a, a world record. Weirder said. Bean asked. That sounded interesting. Miss Arubitate smiled. There's a man in here who walked on his hands for 870 miles. You mean on his hands and knees like a baby? No, just on his hands with his feet in the air, said Miss Arubitate. No way. Read the book, you'll see, Miss Arubitate returned to her chair. Bean opened the shiny cover on the very first on the very first page. There was a picture of a woman who, who, whose black hair trailed behind her like a fancy cape. Bean read that the Hair was 19 feet long, and that the woman had been growing it since she was 12. Whoa, thought Bean. Doesn't it get dirt and bugs in it? Bean turned to Paige. Ew, a man was eating a scorpion. W, he ate 30 scorpions a day. On the next page was a picture of a boy with 256 straws straws in in his mouth. What did his mouth look like when there were no straws in it? Big and slobbery being guessed. Oh, Ivy, which she whispered, Ivy! Ivy's eyes stopped binging back and forth. What? Check this out. Carpet, carpet, vipers, hula hoops, and two million teeth. He stuck one hundred and fifty nine clothespins on his face, shouted Eric. Look at him. It was recess, but instead of soccer or jumping rope or monkey bars, the second graders were huddled under the play structure at the center of the circle where Ben and her book kids pulled the book back and forth, all trying to look at the pages at the same time. Look at her 99 hula hoops at once. Vanessa squeaked around her neck too. Look at this talent. It weighs 39 pounds, said Dustis. Gross, I hate turnips, Eric said. My mom made me eat one once and I spit it into the heater. I hate one. I hate lima beans, said Dustus. Time on after all, Miss Ripte had brought it especially for her. This guy has had more broken bones than any living human. Read his broken, he, he bully, he's Broken his leg fourteen times on purpose, asked Emma. I on purpose, I asked Emma. I guess so, said Bean. He jumps off built of buildings, drew slid the book 
his way. Hey, this guy collects teeth. He wants to, he has two million teeth. This is the world's most pined in snakes. Read Leo pointing to another picture. It's called the carpet viper. Does it live in carpets? asked Zuzu. She looked worried. In India and Africa, said Leo, not here. Bean slid the book back her way. Look, Zuzu, this girl did a hundred and nine cartwheels in a row. Let me see that. Zuzu grabbed the book and looked closely at the picture of a teenage girl in tights. I bet I could do a hundred and ten. I bet you couldn't, said Eric. He grabbed the book from Zuzu and flipped through the pages. This dude, he ate 400 M&Ms in one minute. It says that nothing. I bet I could eat a thousand in one minute if I didn't chew. You choke, we warned Leo. No, I've had lots of practice, said Eric. Look, said Bean, reaching over Eric's shoulder and flipping the page and flipping pages. Look at this kid. He's only a kid, and he made the world record for hanging spoons on his face. Fifteen, no glue either. How do they stick? asked Ivy, looking up from her book. I can't tell, Bean said. Sweat, maybe? Why would anyone hang spoons on their face? I don't know, but he made a world record. Bean looked at the picture. The kid was covered with spit. The kid was covered with spoons, but he still looked proud and happy because he had set a world record. I, I'm going to do 16 spoons, said Emma, starting at the picture. Hey, I was going to do 16, said Bean. She wanted to set a record and have her picture in the amazing book of world records. Spoons seemed pretty easy, and unlike some of the records, spoons didn't hurt. But now Emma had dips, had bang, dang. I'm going to eat 500 M&Ms in a minute, said Eric said. Where are you going to get 500 M&Ms, asked Dustus. Eric thought for a minute, moment. My uncle gave me $10 for my birthday. My dad said I could spend it on anything I want. I'm going to do 111 cartwheels, said Zuzu, tucking her pink shirt into her pink pants and re flinging her hair. I'm going to see if Miss Rubitate has any spoons, said Emma. Emma and Zuzu walked off looking. Bean left 
felt left out. What could she do? She flipped through the pages until she came to a picture of a woman holding a broken glass. What was there a record for breaking the most glasses? No woman, no, the woman had broken it by singing in a really high voice. Ha! Ah, sang Bean, soft but softly. Ivy was still reading. What's that book about anyway? Asked Bean. When Ivy looked up, her eyes were shining. This girl, Mari Anning, was her name. She found the first whole and secure fossil in the world. She was only 12 when she did it, too. She lived near the beach, and one day she saw a skeleton face in the cliffs so she dug it out it it took her a long time and everybody made fun of her but she didn't but she didn't care and it was an inch the sore only nobody knew about dinosaurs then she also found a plesaur and a petrodate See, see, this is her. Ivy showed being a picture of a girl in a tall hat. She wasn't very pretty, but she was famous and important. She, being sad, she was unfamous and unimportant. There, were, there had to be some way to fix that. On your mark, get set, yikes. The first 40 straws were easy peasy. Bean stuck them all in her mouth at once. Then she opened another box of straws. Er, she, she said to Ivy, pointing. More, are you sure? Asked Ivy. Bean nodded. Ooh, um, here, eh, eh. She grunted, which meant 257 I which meant 257 ivy pulled a straw out of the box and shoved it into bean's mouth but she accidentally shoved shoved too hard and the straw scraped the back of bean's throat and <coughs> choked bean and and the straw sprayed across the kitchen floor <coughs> Ivy winced. Sorry, ow. Bean's eyes were watering. She, she looked at the straws all over the kitchen and thought about Mary Annie. She wasn't a quitter and neither was Bean. She began to pick up the straws. Ivy helped once again. She shoved 40 straws in her mouth and very carefully Ivy pushed in one more 41 42 43 the girls were working so hard that they didn't hear Bean's dad come into the kitchen 44 hi Ivy hi Bean what have you got in your mouth Bean's dad said start staring aw said Bean straws said i said ivy helpfully she's breaking a world record explained the beans dad the beans dad said leaning over see better blah, 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 blah. 257 okay, um, mouth sadie sadly she straws she pulled the straws out 
I'll never break the world record. She handed the spitty straws to her father. Thanks a lot, said Dad. Maybe there's a different world record you can break. You could break like what? Asked to Bean. I can't walk on my hands, said Bean's, Bean's dad glanced at the sink. He hadn't washed the breakfast dishes yet. You set the world record of washing the first dishes, said smiling. That would be a good one. Bean ran to the get and get to. That would be a good one. Bean ran to get the book over there or no. Records for fastest dishwasher. This is going to be a piece of cake. Bye, guys. Said Bean, looking at the counter filled well, with plates. You could do it slowly and home. still. Break the record and said Bye, Ivy. Guys. Uh, and remember, if you want to read this book with me, just go to um, your local bookstore, library, anywhere that sells books. Look for Ivy and Bean and look for Ivy and Bean break the fossil record. Bye, everybody. I love you so much. Peace out. And remember, never stop learning, no matter how hard it is. Here are today's shout outs right here. Bye! Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. Here are today's shout outs. Give a big shout out to them and watch these YouTube channels.